Hi stampers, this is Debbie Henderson from Debbie's Designs. Today I'm going to show you a new technique called colored ink emboss resist. I don't know if you can tell, um, there's the shininess of the embossing and I've added ink under the embossing and also over and I'm going to show you how to do that today. For ink colors, we're going to need Tempting Turquoise, Wild Wasabi, Basic Gray, and Versamark ink. For cardstock, we're going to need Wild Wasabi, 5.5 inches by 8.5 inches, scored in the center at 4.25 inches. Tempting Turquoise, 5.25 inches by 4 inches. Whisper White, five inches by three and three quarter inches and we're also going to need a uh, just a scrap piece of the whisper white to stamp our sentiment on and to save a little bit of time i've already cut the two butterflies that i need from the card from the butterfly thinlets dies this one i stamped with the wild wasabi ink and this one is the wild wasabi cardstock other supplies we're going to need today is a brayer, a stamping sponge, bone folder, the stamp set Butterfly Basics, pearl jewels, and the paper piercer to put them on, clear embossing powder, two and a half inch, or excuse me, two inch circle punch. And of course some adhesive so let's get started we're gonna start by adding ink color to our whisper white layer I'm gonna start out with the brayer and wild wasabi ink and all I'm gonna do is roll color in different areas of my cardstock and it doesn't matter where you add your ink Okay, I'm going to go rinse off my brayer and I'll be right back. Now I'm going to bring in my Tempting Turquoise. And again, I'm just going to roll the ink on my brayer. And don't worry about it overlapping on the Wild Wasabi. There, I've added all of my color. It kind of looks like a big mess right now, like a mosaic. It's going to look really cute when we're done. Now I'm going to bring in my stamping emboss buddy. I'm just going to rub it all over the color. And we're going to be using Versamark ink and the fern image from the Butterfly Basic set. So we're just going to fill in our panel with the fern image. There, I've got it pretty full now. You can see where I've added all of them. It's a little bit shiny in some areas. And now we're going to bring in our clear embossing powder. And I keep my all of my embossing powders in a plastic container. And I actually write down the color that's in it plus the catalog number. So it's easy for me to reorder with the number right at my fingertips. And I actually place my cardstock piece right in the container. That way you don't end up with a mess on your counter. Everything falls right back into your container. So I've got this all sprinkled with the embossing powder. And now I'm going to go use my heat tool to heat set the embossing powder. Okay, I'm back with my heat embossed panel. As you see, the embossing powder was melted and I now have a shiny... Uh, fern on the background and for those of you that have never used a heat tool before and this is what it looks like and all you do is turn it on and you just keep swirling around until all of the embossing powder is melted 
and it gives it a really shiny look. Now I'm going to use my basic gray ink and a sponge and I'm just going to dab the color onto my cardstock and you'll see where the emboss resists the ink. So we're going to do that for the whole cardstock piece. And you can actually um, add lighter shades of the ink where you'll still see some of the color peek through. It kind of gives it a really nice looking effect. I'm just going to go back and add a little bit here and there to make it darker. And a warning that this will um, cause you to have messy fingers. So let's put this away. I'm going to bring in a tissue and all I do is wipe over the embossing to make sure I get the, the residue off from the ink. So as you see, the ink resists the embossing so the color that's under the embossing peeks through. Now we're going to assemble our card. Actually, before I assemble, I do have a little bit of stamping. I'm using this border image from the Butterfly Basics, and I'm just going to add a couple rows. There's one. Two. And three. I'm going to let that dry a little bit and I'm going to wipe that off also to get the um, ink residue that's sitting on top of the embossing. And while we let that dry, we're going to come in and stamp our sentiment on our scrap white. And I'm using the ten Tempting Turquoise ink. And I'm going to cut that out with the two inch punch. So I've got that and the two butterflies. And now we're going to bring our inked panel back in. And again, I'm going to just going to wipe where the fern image sits. And as you see, the gray ink um, disappears that was sitting on top of the ferns. Now I'm going to bring in my cardstock layers, my wild wasabi, fold in half, and I'm going to glue the tempting turquoise layer down. And then we're going to glue our stamped layer. And the next step will be to add our sentiment. And for the butterfly, I'm actually going to use my stamping dimensionals and I'm going to use this thin strip on the outside. You should never throw this away because it's perfect for little skinny areas. I'm going to glue that on the back. Add my butterfly and then I'm just going to use some liquid glue to add the second butterfly. Bend it a little bit, glue it in place and our last step is going to be to add our pearl jewels and I added all three sizes to this card. Oops that one came off. We'll start with the large, the medium, medium on the butterfly, and two of the very small ones. I don't tend to use these as much. 
And that's it for our card for today. I'll fluff up the butterfly for you. If you have any questions on any of the Stamping Out products I used today, please feel free to email me or leave a message on YouTube. And I will list all the supplies in the video and at the end of my video also, along with the link to my online store. Have a good day and thanks for stopping by.